particularly the sales team, that the community is not a place to pitch. It's not that you can't mention the company, but you mm -hmm. shouldn't be in there promoting, doing a ton of promotion. I call it influence marketing, not influencer. Mm -hmm. Like influencer marketing is a thing. Right. Influence marketing is is looking at how you create brand recognition and affinity amongst a broader set of people and organizations and channels that have the power to influence your buyer. The in, the the people who are doing the influence in this case may not be influencers. They may just be another person in pavilion when the question gets asked. But they're a peer to your buyer. And so they have influence with that one person. It's a very different way of thinking about it. And that's why I don't like to call it influencer marketing, because these are people that don't have big audiences, but they, they do have the ability to sway your buyer. A sales engagement automation systems are critical for any sales organization to achieve that excellence. But at the same time, it is a complex, tedious, and expensive process for any sales organization to implement it. Sometimes it can end in a failure too, and you have to start all over again. To fix this problem, Playbook.ai, our current sponsor, has introduced a program for SaaS and enterprise technology startups called the Sales Excellence Program. It is the most effective, fastest, and risk-free way to deploy a sales engagement automation system in your organization mm -hmm. to drive that growth and drive revenue excellence. None of the top Sales uh, engagement platforms give you a free trial, at least most of them. But in the Sales Excellence Program, Playbook.ai customer success team not only gives you the free and unlimited access to all the features for six weeks, they also do the heavy lifting of implementing a sales engagement system and provide you with advice on what, what best practices you should follow when creating your sales playbook. To join the Sales Excellence Program, all you have to do is visit Playbook.ai backslash SEP, Sales Engagement Platform, SEP, and type R followed by my last name, W-A-D-H-W-A, when the request invitation form asks you for the name of the accelerator. Let's assume that now I have decided, okay, let's say I have a product and I have decided I want to create a community. While you said that, you know, it doesn't make sense to have a community which is solely around product because that will be for your customers. But let's say you are, a, you are a company who are, let's say, two or three years old in the business have a few customers, and now you plan to roll out the community. Of course, a lot of things will change based on the objectives you have. But let's say if a company like that were to establish a community, what do you think should be the objectives in that case when they're trying to acquire the customers right now? Um, if, there, if the objective is new customer acquisition, mm -hmm. um, I would create a community that is not about the company or the product. So I wouldn't name the community after the company I, you know, or the product. I would keep it as a separate brand. Got and it. I would have a person whose job it is to kind of own that community and be like, let's call it the host, quote unquote, or the MC. On my team, when I was at Impact, I had a person like this. That her title was Director of Audience Engagement and Community. Wow. And <laughs> Her job was to just create a great experience for the people that were in our orbit. So I would I would have a person who owned that, and they're they they would be gold around creating a fantastic experience in the community. And to do that means making sure that there's activity that people are posting that if somebody asks a question, they get an answer. And so a good community manager does things like repost questions that nobody's responded to. It's organizing events for the community, whether those be AMAs or another type of round table, et cetera. You need to start small, meaning like there can be a temptation to create a Slack community or a Discord community or whatever it is and like have tons of channels. But right. Don't do that. You know, start small, have one channel and get conversation going in that one channel. And then when there's so much conversation about a topic that it warrants its own channel, split it off. But like you want to have activity and you want people to feel like there's connections happening there. And so, again, a good community manager will do things like welcome new members and encourage them to post about themselves and introduce themselves. And so having that person who really owns that and is gold around it is very, very important. And then also setting expectations with the rest of the company and particularly the sales team that the community is not a place to pitch. It's not that you can't mention the company, but you mm -hmm. shouldn't be in there promoting, doing a ton of promotion. The way, the way to get sort of get around that is you could have a channel called, a lot of communities have a channel called like shameless plugs. Shameless plugs. Right. Yeah. 
And, and then you let anybody shamelessly promote themselves there. And you need to be prepared that perhaps one of your competitors might do it. Uh, you know, and I think you need to sort of set expectations for what you are and aren't going to allow, and you need to enforce them, but your own team needs to be prepared to follow through. And the most important thing is what you cannot have is somebody joins your community who's a good prospect for the company. And then the next day they get a call from the sales team, because that's the fastest way to get people to stop joining the community there. You need to figure out like, it's like, what is a CQL, a community qualified lead, right? What, what, actions does somebody need to take in that community to either indicate that they might be ready and willing to have a conversation with sales? Or is there some way that you can translate their involvement in the community into some engagement with your brand outside of it? Be that an invitation to a smaller event where your sales team is present and can have that conversation or you know some kind of an offer that you share that gets them more engaged with your brand. That, that handoff needs mm-hmm. to be managed very, very carefully. 